use your God power to get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. The third demonstration shows that a plant is able to feel a person's emotional arousal. In this carefully set up experiment, the plant once again is attached to the polygraph type device and isolated in a plastic box to eliminate any possibility of interference in the experiment. Next, a person connected to the same type of equipment is watching a provocative movie within a few feet of the plant. Right when a very sensual scene is shown on the movie screen, which causes the test subject to respond emotionally, the plant responds also. The experiment shows that the plant was responding to the heightened emotional response of the person. In this fourth demonstration, a woman tries to teach her plant the alphabet. It's not quite clear how it is set up but it appears that the plant is connected to a polygraph type device that is then connected to some sort of speaker. When she talks to the plant, it seems to respond in an audible way. Segment 5 is a demonstration from the Soviet Union. Once again, it seems that a cabbage plant is connected to a polygraph type device that is displayed on an electrical monitor with an audible response as well. This interesting demonstration shows that the cabbage plant reacts wildly to a cabbage being chopped up in its presence. The most interesting aspect of this experiment has two cabbage plants side by side with one that is connected to the monitoring device and one that is not. One by one, several lab assistants each walk up to the plant that is not connected and stands for a moment and then exits the room. After several people have visited the plant, one actually destroys it by ripping it apart with their bare hands and then exits the room. Naturally, and as you would expect by now, the other plant, the one connected to the monitoring equipment, reacts wildly to this. But, the most interesting part of the experiment comes next. After some time passes and the plant has settled back down, the assistants each enter the room again. As each one enters, there is no reaction from the plant. But as soon as the actual person who ripped apart the other plant enters the room, the plant goes crazy again. The plant was able to recognize the guilty person who, quote unquote, killed the other plant. What does this example show, Anne? What does it mean? This video example makes several great points. First, we are always sending out meaning. Every emotion that we feel, we send out to the universe. However, even though it is heard and received by the entire universe, it is only noticed by the people, places, situations, events, dogs, plants, and whatever else that resonates with its meaning. You may be thinking that it's time for you to stop working with these plants and go home. You will find no reaction from the plant to this meaning. However, your dog will be delighted to receive this meaning and reacts to it instantly by waiting for you at the door. The meaning has no similarity to any vibrational frequency that the plant has. It has no idea that you are even thinking that because it only knows what it notices and it only notices what resonates with the vibration that it has. So if you decide to try another experiment and think about burning the plant, the plant will go crazy, but your dog will not notice. The next point that I would like to make is in regard to the cabbage killing experiment. How did the plant know exactly who killed the other cabbage? It is obvious that we all have our own individual vibrational signature. That is to say that we are unique in every way including the vibrational energy we are constantly emitting. Like our song example, even though the elements of the songs 
may be the same, such as the same instruments are played, but it is still easy to tell them apart when you listen to them. The instruments may be the same, but the song is different. We are all unique in every way and can be easily identified by that unique vibrational signal. In the same way that the dog could tell that it was his owner that was coming home and not somebody else, so too this cabbage could tell exactly who the person was that killed the other cabbage by their unique vibrational pattern. This is the same unique vibrational signature that identifies us when we are resonating with our world. Every single person, place, thing, event, situation, dog, or plant knows that it is us specifically when we are in resonance together. How else could it work? We couldn't have resonance be the universal matchmaker if it wasn't sure who sent the vibrational signals, now could we? The cabbage plant received the signal of death and the vibrational signal identifier as to who was responsible. The cabbage plant's reaction when that same person returned to the room wasn't from a need for revenge, <laughs> thank God. It was from a place of fear and self-protection. The plant knew it was possible that it was in danger also. This was very similar to Baxter's original experiment with the match and his test plant. Finally, the most important point that this video example makes is that plants seem to have consciousness without a brain. If it were us, we would say that we saw the danger with our eyes and it sent a signal to our brain which sent out adrenaline to our muscles for the fight or flight syndrome. That is our realistic and rational way of explaining how physical reality works. But as we will see in the chapter called The Reality of Reality, nothing is actually going on physically. Everything that we see and feel is only a physical representation of a non-physical creation. Obviously, the plant has no brain, which we have always felt was the place where consciousness resides. But it does not. It is in the mind, not the brain, which resides in the energy realm. We will cover this more later on in the book. I just wanted to point it out while it's fresh in your mind. Consciousness is not a physical property. That means that the brain, which is a physically oriented object, is not the place where consciousness resides. The most important thing to realize about how all this works is that you may never know who or what is resonating with your meanings. It could be the person of your dreams that you have been giving much thought to makes a wrong turn on the interstate, seemingly by accident, and ends up stopping at your store and meeting you as a result. Or it could be a truck driver who gets distracted for a moment, seemingly by accident, and pulls into your lane of traffic. Everything in the universe is responding and reacting to the sum total of all the vibrations that it is resonating with. Maybe you have been given quite a bit of thought to exactly who you would like to meet, just like you're supposed to. But you're also thinking, somebody else always seems to get the good ones. So, the person who made the wrong turn and ends up in your store is in your sights, just long enough for you to recognize that they are the one. Then, someone else steps up and offers to help them. Sure enough, they leave together. That could have been you, but just as you predicted and created, it was not. It will never be you as long as you send out the meaning that it's never you. Remember the dog and the plant the next time you start thinking recklessly about things that you want. Every single thing you were thinking is flying across the universe faster than the speed of light, making all the right moves for you or all the wrong ones. It's your decision as to what that will be. The person or opportunity of your dreams could be excitedly waiting for you like the dog or trying their best to avoid you like the cat. It all depends on what you have set up for yourself based on the meanings that you are sending. Options.
Now activating the next video play options. One moment please. Click on the green arrow to start watching the next video. Or, click on the red arrow to start watching the prior video. Or, click on the tan arrow to go to the main course menu and guide. With links to all course chapters, excerpts, and special reports. Up next, special video options. Click on your choice of course videos, menus, and excerpts. Now switching to the special video options menu and activating the video selection buttons. Click on your selection number to start watching the video. Fifteen seconds till we switch to the next page with the free download information. Pause the video now if you need more time to review the available selections. This is the end of this course video. Its video number is listed above. To watch the next video, simply click on the next video in number sequence. Thank you.